right, so boom, we ain't wasting no time. We're getting right into it. You want to transfer your hair base maps from Evo X to Scout. So we're going to show you how right here. Just as you can see, you're working with two different UVs. This is the Evo X UV. This is Scout's UV. And we got a hair base that has been requested a lot of times to be transferred to Scout. So let's get right into that. We're going to transfer the maps of the flow hair base so what you want to do is import your heads and then from here you want to uh, open up your hyper shade editor right here and that's gonna bring this up don't worry about all of these uh, materials I have all you got to all you got to worry about is go in here and type it Lambert oh and it'll load with the Lambert, a new Lambert will load at the bottom. I got a lot of them because I'm recording it. So, after you make a new Lambert, what you want to do is file, and then from here, uh, drag your file, middle mouse, middle mouse button, and drag the file into the color box right here. And then from here, you can, you can name this. I'm gonna name it from here. Next. This is the material. And from here, you're gonna go find the file. And then from here, you're just gonna apply this texture. Like, since that's that hair brace was originally mapped to the Evo X, so what I'm gonna do is just select the mesh and then press assign material to viewport. And you'll see the texture here. Now, here, simple. You select, you go up to, well, you change this tab to rendering. Go up here to lighting and shading, and then transfer maps. Now, um, what you want to do is first, none of these are going to be checked, right? So, what you want to do is click your diffuse map. You click your alpha map and then you're gonna put in the set on the save icons like what you want it to be saved as. So, I want this to be this one flow, and I like to save mine as a BDS. really after I type this in you can screenshot the, you can screenshot the settings but uh, if you want to test if you want to test this just to make sure it works cool let's just do that so to test it to make sure it works without it having to render a long time just do this do these settings right um, but and then you're gonna go back up to source images uh, this the start texture is your so you don't push add selected and your scalps is the target mesh so you're gonna add that and then just click bake and since it's a small image it should be almost instant oh clean tra transfer like for real almost a carbon copy and shit under five minutes like look at the uv boom that's evo x uv this is scalps uv perfect all around now if you want to that's just a test like this is a very low res image you don't want to sell that so what you want to do to make sure that the quality is transferred over is do it again but put this to 2048 which is the max that second second life will take um you're gonna go 2048 and then you're gonna put your you gonna put your quality uh, sampling quality to high like you want that bitch to be cranked and then you're gonna run that shit again so same thing up here, make sure everything in Tiger the Source Mesh is cool and bake. Now this is gonna take a minute because it's baking. So depending on how many programs you have open is how long it's gonna take. So we're gonna come back after it's done baking and show. Uh, so I'll see y'all then. Okay, so boom, it's finally done. This took about 10 minutes. But it's because I got a lot of programs open. So if you're gonna do this, make sure that you close your programs out, but this is the final product. And what we're gonna do is open up and get the Photoshop. This is the Evo X 
version and uh, let's find let's find the oh it's right here boom open that up and this is the scalp tv perfect let's put a background uh behind it so y'all can see but it's perfectly mapped you might have to do a, you know a little bit of adjustments and cleaning up but like you ain't gotta do a bunch so hope this helped uh if y'all want to see a uh, regular uv to evo x drop some comments and yeah good luck thanks for tuning in so that's for me